should you switch to Osu Laser? Hi, I'm Lemuse. I'm an Osu player and I've been trying to make some content out of it. Last time I tried switching to Laser, it was around half a year ago, but I didn't like the UI and huge lag spikes happened way too often. But with all the updates coming to Osu, I want to test Laser once again. So in this video, I'll share my experience with it and let you in on some of the ups and downs of Osu Laser. First off, I needed to prepare before I actually started to play. That meant two things. This first thing is only for streamers. It's setting up separate software like PP Counter and the now playing bot. Wait, let me... It's for stable only? Wait, is it? Shit. I mean, that would be stupid, no, if it's only for stable? Stable only? Okay, GG's, never mind. Cancel this. The funny thing is, my PP counter uses the same program as the MP bot. That means I can't use an outside PP counter either. So I'm forced to use the end game one. That will totally not distract me and make me nervous. The second thing I had to do was setting up my skin. Osu Laser has this completely separate skin editor where you can add plenty of extra elements, such as a PP counter. So, oh wait, it's, it's like, yeah, oh, the border is all fucked up too. Oh, okay, okay, we're gonna be here a while, okay. Yeah, I think, I think it's right, I think it's right. Okay, so that's, that's one thing. Um, I mean, key counter I don't need because I have my own. This is alright, that's alright. Um, I'll, I'll get a PP counter. That is an ugly ass PP counter. Beatmap attribute text you can change to any stat about the map. Beatmap attribute. Oh! I mean, what other stats do I want? I mean, I, I don't think I need to put out TOD. I mean, star rating is pretty nice, but like, I don't like this format. Can I say like SR? Oh, I can change it. Um, SR. I mean, I guess I could put PP here to match my previous. Also, this font is different from this one. That's also kind of annoying. Wait, can I not? Surely I can put BPM together with the, with this. Yes. Okay, why is the value with two zeros? That kind of sucks. Can I change that? Layer flag is kind of funny. <laughs> Can't even lie. Can I just like put it next to my score? <laughs> just have Belgium flag there. Represent, represent. Okay, so quick summary on the skin editor. I really like all the options and different attributes. Some of them are funny and really useful. I don't like that there is no option for an outside PP counter. As a streamer, I know how much people like to see a PP counter, but being forced to have one in game is really distracting as I am still very much attached to the number. Well, now it's time for some gameplay. Okay, it's already spiking as I scroll through the map. That is not a good sign. Damn, I fucked up. Okay, gameplay feels normal, can't lie. Gameplay feels normal. Might need offsets, hmm, maybe. I, I, I'm just bad at the game, like I'm bad at rhythm, so. The suggested offset is minus 11. Okay, if you say so boss, if you say so. Dude, I swear, like, I can't play this. I can't play this on stable. Like, I barely have one A rank on this. And now I just shit out a 95 AX score. How does that work? Um, how do... Is Wonya bot dead? Because I don't really... Go do notifications? Oh. Why doesn't it automatically appear at the top? That's so dumb. Ooh. 
Damn. As much as fucking raid change is bullshit, it is really fun to play. <laughs> but, like, this, this is just b garbage, right? Like, I should not have passed this. The score shouldn't even be a B rank. Um, but it is really fun to play. <laughs> I, I can't believe people want this ranked. Like, that's just retarded. I don't feel like I'm playing a rhythm game anymore. I'm just playing an aim trainer at this point. Like, I do not want Ray Change ranked. And it's gonna happen, and I'll be, like, I don't understand the fucking... Like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel valued. Like... <sighs> If the T is ranked and range change should be there, there's a difference, but like no one, no one agrees on it. So, I, like I'm not even gonna try to defend myself. I just, I'm just having a different opinion on here. I want to see if I can actually get PP with this, but by, by like playing a high star stream map and then like not chain missing, you know, that would be funny if I got PP of that. Oh my god, I got so nervous! What the fuck? This is so free! This is so free! I mean, it's not free because of nerves, but like... What? Bro, like, every fucking 8-star stream app is doable now. I'm not even joking. My game just has stopped! <laughs> that is insane! It just stopped! It just stopped! <laughs> okay, okay, I don't know if I'm ready for the laser switch. Imagine that happens on like an FC. Imagine I was like getting a top play right there and my shit just breaks down. After that, I decided to end stream. But I kept playing after dinner since I was curious what other maps I could do on laser. And that's when I did this. So, for what it's worth, let me go over the gameplay pros and cons. I really like that this is the future of OSU. New and more advanced mods, cooler multi-lobbies, better note lock mechanic, and not to forget, a better scoring system. People tend to forget that laser scoring is so much more accurate than score v1 and score v2. It really elevates competitive gaming for all map leaderboards. If you want me to make a video on the laser mods and the multi-lobbies, make sure to like this video. A side note between the pros and cons, I will leave the UI out of this. Yes, it's more complex than standard, but honestly, most of the stats have their use in being displayed like that. 
So if you really love this game, you won't use um, the UI is shit as a reason to not switch. Something that I didn't address in the video that I really struggled with is the offset. It felt like I was tapping too early on everything. Other laser users in my chat told me you needed a 10 to 15 millisecond offset to play the game normally. That sounds like a serious issue to me. How can you have a game run at wrong offset for everyone, you know? And then of course, the lag spikes. For me, the lag spikes only happened on stream, aka when I was using OBS. I wish I could give a more detailed description on the issue for the laser devs. So if there's any of you watching this, feel free to ask me to try and figure out the problem. With all of that addressed, I want to end by saying, switching to laser is absolutely worth it. You will see me playing laser from now on, unless the lag spikes really start to worsen. Will you switch to laser too? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.